Hello, boys, girls, and waterfowl. This is the story of the Pumpkin Pal. I couldn't think of a good enough rhyme because I had to make this in so little time. Anyway, our night begins on Halloween with a little boy named Jerry, who was ready for trick-or-treating with his pumpkin pal named Larry. Many children were out that night, in hopes of candy and maybe a good fright. Jerry and Larry were ready for some good candy. Also maybe make some new friends? Wouldn't that be dandy? The first house was just around the corner of Lemon Street, with all of the children ready for a good treat. They see Mr. Patrick, who wore a scary witch mask. What is that red stuff coming from? You know what, I shouldn't ask. Mr. Patrick gave out candy apples covered in something gooey. While Jerry and the other kids were excited, Larry thought it looked kind of screwy. All of the children continued on, skipping with glee, but Larry told Jerry, hold on a moment, this doesn't look right to me. Larry told Jerry that the apple was covered in something that shouldn't be on there. He said, This stuff could give you a real tummy ache. This, I swear. Jerry wanted the apple so bad, but Larry was his friend. So Jerry threw the apple away in the end. Later that night, Jerry and Larry were going house to house, gathering up all sorts of treats. But at the next house, Mrs. Marty was handing out something different. She was handing out meats. Don't wait too long to eat these, said Mrs. Marty. They'll rot and smell very bad, and that'll be no party. Once again, Larry told Jerry something seemed off. They both took a sniff and started to cough. Larry didn't have to say anything to Jerry this time. Jerry knew to throw the meat away, as it was definitely not prime. As Halloween was coming to a close, Jerry and Larry were heading home, but then suddenly tripped over a hose. Jerry looked up and saw some big kids coming to him. The biggest one was the leader, and his name was Tim. He said to Jerry, Give us your pail of candy, little squirt. If you don't do it, you will get hurt. Jerry turned around and pleaded with Tim, Please just take my candy, but don't take him. Larry's my friend. He's the only pail I carry. All of the big kids started to laugh at Jerry. Tim took Larry and all of the treats, and then all the big kids left while one ran in cleats. Jerry sat on the ground and started to cry. Without Larry, his tears would never ever dry. Tim and the others grabbed the candy and started to eat as they left Larry on the ground next to their feet. Suddenly, Larry turned around, looking right at all of them. He started to grow something that looked like his stem. The kids all looked shocked at what they were seeing. One was so scared, he started peeing. Larry became very frightening and grew really big in size. He stared at them with his really scary eyes. The kids tried running, but it was too late. The strength of his vines was much too great. He picked them all up and looked right at Tim. He proceeded to say, You have separated me from my companion. This is not allowed. You have made a big mistake. If you do not return me to my pal, then I will inflict suffering on you and your friends. You will live the rest of your short lives going through pain and misery through the bowels of hell. Right at him, Tim pleaded with him and said he was sorry. He said he would take him back and say he is sorry. I'm running out of rhymes, as you can tell. So let's see how this ends, and maybe it'll go well. Tim and the others returned to Jerry with Larry and all of the candy. They apologized and even gave him all of their treats they got from Sandy. All the kids felt bad and wanted to say how they were sorry and just wanted to play. Tim asked if they could be his friend, so that things wouldn't turn out bad for him in the end. Jerry wiped his tears and he started to smile and asked his new friends if they wanted to come over for a while. All of the kids looked at Larry, who gave them a look. Tim said, sure, maybe we could watch Hook? They all started walking to Jerry's house, seeing the neighbors get arrested. Jerry was thankful he never had their foods he never ingested. Larry looks up and says with his might, There are certain things you should never do on Halloween night. Don't trust strangers who give you gooey apples and weird-looking meats. You never know what's in them. They're certainly not treats. And if you bully someone who just wants to have fun, 
be prepared for their magic pumpkin to rip you a new one. And that's the story of the Pumpkin Pal, boys and girls. Have fun this Halloween. Have a good fright and make sure your candy is clean. As you can tell, I am not a writer. I don't know what to rhyme this with, so I'll just say lighter. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Whether it's like this or something else, hopefully it won't be a snore. With all that said, I'll leave you with this. Thank you for watching and go get a kiss. You know, like the candy.